Hey all the Zerks and welcome back to XCOM and this mission, oh my god. What can you say about a mission like this besides it was an absolute hell to deal with, but um, you know, sometimes you get these, sometimes just things do not go our way. And while I would love to get this meld, I have this feeling that Mammy is just not going to be able to provide it to me uh, in time. It's going to expire next turn. I'm not even going to bother. I want more intel on where those mutant elites went. And there he went. That's why we send Mammy to do this. Because the heavy plasma gun that he's got is hella scary. And this way we actually get eyes on the guy that we can use. So we can dash... Alright, let's see if there's another pack out here. It's just those two guys, it looks like. So if we can get hollow and some damage in. We can have Zergen rush up and crit this dude. I think we actually get around this corner from close range. Might even get Zyther out here to do the work because he's not going to get any healthier than he already is. I might be able to get another mutant lead down from this. That, that Thin Man is still screwing us because we don't have the range because of the acid. But we're doing okay on that. I may need to drop off the high ground for a second to avoid the flank. Um, but, I mean, the range of the rocket is not going to hit this. We don't have javelins, so I got to be reasonable here. Now, we still have Stompy Mech, and that could be anything from 1 to 70 mechtoids at this rate. So, I'm not going to hold out hope that that's going to be a softball by any stretch, but... Let me just reload the guns I have. And decide how to play this. I think Plank Bob... No, you can't do shit. You can actually can't heal the way I want you to either. So it looks like, I mean, Zergen at least has topped off thanks to three medkits, which, I mean, when's the last time I need to use three medkits in a goddamn mission? Can I just say that right now? Holy shit. Um, alright, what do we have? Can we get a grenade on that guy? Maybe. The mech probably can, but she's still shredded, so I'm even more scared of having her in the front lines on this. Because they can absolutely wreck her if we're not careful. On the upshot, putting a mech in a corner like this likely means that we're not going to get visioned on. If that's an, a verb I can use without causing vast objections. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And Shadow Beave, I mean, we can turn the corner on this mutant elite if we didn't have to worry about that uh, Thin Man breathing down our neck. So I think I'm just going to take this opportunity to reload. We're really low on ammo everywhere, and she has lock and load. Oh, you beautiful beast, you. Uh, let me overwatch in case something runs in. Alright. I mean, I should probably just go all out on this. That's affirmative. I mean, if I sit back, they're just going to be able to regroup, recover, and then we'll have the same problem all over again, except with even more anger. So that's, yeah, we got to get a hollow up for that to happen. Let me get Zergen out here. I do run the risk of potentially snooching that mech pack, but Mammy's intel told me it's not close, unless it's on the edge of my vision here. No, we're actually okay. We got double flanks. Please crit this, Zergen. I really need you to crit this, bro. Thank you, Zergen! Yes! Freaking yes! Okay. 60%. That's better than the 30 Mm. Not so good. No. One more time, buddy. Thank you, hit and run. Yeah, okay, so that's a 9% chance to miss both those shots, which we obviously managed to nail. Alright, now this is down to a 3% chance to miss all three of these in tandem. Got him. Right, at, least, at least we didn't hit our 3% roll. That would have been worse. One less mutant elites no makes our situation easier here. Um, alright, good enough. So, Marco, what do we do with Marco? I mean, we, if we could flashbang that mutant elite, that'd be huge. I think I could actually get to the point where we can flashbang him. Moving. If not, I mean, we're no longer in a smoke volume, I think, so... Can we actually get a flashbang out? No, we can't get a flashbang out. We just, sorry, double tap that. Because I'm getting a little stress balled. What we could do is get out here... And see if we can't get the, um, the proxy down. Providing cover at my location. So if he comes up on us here and tries to take cover here to get Zergen, he will get proxied in the face. 
Proximity mine okay. in position. He may just sit there like a baller and just say, come at me, bro, which is highly possible as well. It, it, given we have no more smoke, we're gonna hunker here. Plank Bob, I think, needs to come up and use his last medkit on Zyther, because Zyther is still relatively flimsy comparatively. Got it. Move and it. I don't want to get flanked off the top. I'm going to lose vision on where the Thin Man is. Camera, stop rocking. It's starting to hurt my brain. Okay, we good? No, you backed off. That's smart. I mean, it's very smart. He's going to try to retreat to the... Now I really, yeah, it was going to expire this turn, so I'm glad I went after the Mutant Elite instead. That was worth it. He, he screwed off twice, basically, so... Let's see. Thin Man went away. Let's see if he really went away or just went on high ground. Or tried to get a corner on us here. No, he actually went away. Okay, so no Thin Man. We can set up here and wait for them to come to us a little bit. Um, Plank Bob, get over here. We're gonna set um, this gun to reload. You need to get that med kit up, because our mech, thank God for he's a mech now, because that ethereal would have ripped his... Well, I'm gonna stop. Would have ripped him a structurally superfluous new orifice, is what I was trying to get at there. Um, that would have been bad. We also have no idea where that other mech pod is, so that's a little scary. We have that as bait, however, that um, proxy. It's not too bad. Mammy, get yourself into a position where we can actually do something useful, like reload. There is no cover here that you can actually reload through, can you? Uh, this is okay, because this is behind full cover and we won't spy anything, or they won't spy us, rather, because of this brick wall. So let's reload that heater. That one guy, I mean, do what you're doing, but overwatch. Let's show off. Keep low. And I'm really glad we have the Titan because we're just... Acid immunity is huge. Looks like the aliens are not biting. But we're going to take our time, reload our guns, because that was about as rough of a position to ever be found in. And I don't want to rush in here because that Thin Man's going to wait, so we may have to take a couple turns on this just to let them come to us a bit. Uh, we, we expended a lot of resources eliminating the threat that we saw there, so we gotta be extra, extra careful moving forward. Keep that heater up, and we're gonna watch that overwatch from here from long range. Okay, Yasin finally is back in action. Position confirmed. Yeah, the scary part is that mech pack hasn't come out of the UFO, and there could be up to like three or five outsiders in there just right, so I gotta be very, very careful what I do from now on. Um, Zyther, you got healed up as much as you're gonna get healed up. So I wanna put Zyther out here as quasi-bait, I guess. I don't wanna put Zyther here as grenade bait, per se. Um, Cause then Mammy would just take a shot to the face. But you know what? If we're gonna do something cool, let's put Zyther on here. Way. And send him up on that covering fire overwatch he's supposed to be good at. Let's see what we can do out of there. Uh, let's do this in case they don't Only trigger the overwatch, position. as I always do. They should always do, rather. But you are, come here, you're still on acid, which is frustrating, but at least now you have full cover and you can overwatch from here. Alright, so we're under full cover positions. Our overwatches are being set. Um, I'm probably going to set up my Rocketeer right in here. Yes. Sir. So ready for the Thin Man when he pops out. And beyond that, I mean, it's, it's, it's our time right now to actually take advantage of the situation. We finally have a good position. Did you hear and they have a shit position. They, I think those two from those packs just bunched up right behind that wall. Alright, Mutant Elite is here. He was smart in trying to go around me, because that's where our heavy firepower is concentrated. And our sniper is just not sealing the deal for us today. Just not sealing the deal for us. You want to get around that proxy. Okay, we got some, some damage down on the guy, but... He's still getting to a cover position. We can blow that up. Did he double move or single move? He single moved. And there is the mech pack I was worried about. Advanced fire control from a mech toid. <laughs> That's getting better and better. Luckily, and I mean this not sarcastically, luckily, we actually have a rocket available uh, right there to do all the work, clear this cover, and then we can go to town with in the zone. 
So I need you to hit this like you've never hit rockets before, buddy. This has got to be this has got to be huge. This has got to be really, really Find huge. Okay. Took care of the drone, and this guy is out of cover. That's going to be big. The Overwatch is still there, so Mammy's going to have to clear that for me. I who yeah, I'm not going to run to my own proxy though, because that would just be dumb as hell. We have double tap cooled down on Morris. So we're gonna double tap a little bit of here. Do you have covering fire? I don't think you do because otherwise you would have unloaded on, yeah, you would have unloaded on the other guy. And what do you have shots on? I may have to pop a disabler. Yeah, I may have to pop a disabling shot just so that guy doesn't fire. And then we can actually use more damage. Yeah, let me pop the disabling shot. That's the smartest thing I can do right now because I don't want his main gun to get off. I mean, I could try for the in the zone on the Muton Elite. It's eight hit points. I should be able to deal that damage, honestly. Marchando. Please connect this girl. I need you to do this and then take care of the mechtoid. The disabling shot. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, thank God. Okay, now we're going to disable the mechtoid in the zone. Yes, please. That saves us from the Overwatch, so you can no longer fire. Overwatch removed. So now we're gonna rush up Yasin, and now no longer under the influence of Shred, Acid, and all the other nasty shit she got saddled with. She can toss a proxy, probably, and we can knock this guy down in one go, because we can get a grenade over there. I mean, you definitely have the arm for that, don't you? But sure, you do not. For serious, okay, I guess not. Well, four sectoids of Thinman and Mectoid is much more reasonable than what we had to deal with at the outset of this mission, so I'm actually okay with this. Uh, Mammy? Oh, Mammy can get up here. To that. Oh, nice. Okay. What is our aim here? 56. That's not too bad. So we're gonna definitely double tap with all the heat we can manage with Morris. Let's double tap this. Nice. Come on. Heat ammo's got to do more work than that. Come on. That's a, that's a tough SOB. We don't have a shred, obviously. That's part of the issue right now, but we're doing okay. I feel like just putting Zergen out front here, I mean, and wagging his dick at these things because we have the power to knock this down. It's just a matter of, matter of time, really. Oh, we can get a proxy right in there. Oh, we can get a proxy right on his face. Oh, we can get on the top of the UFO. That's the difference. That'll actually do damage to him. That's so funny. So, in that case, we can probably get Belchior. Because, again, I'm not worried about the Thin Men or the Sectoid. How much more do we need on distance to get the grenade in there? Not much. So, if we face him down straight up, like right in front of him, I think we actually do this. And from high ground, I'm safer against the Thin Man as well. I'm on it, Commander. He can't drop bombs on me because he's disabled at this point, the weaponry. I may, oh, could I actually get higher on this? Or no, I can barely get him with the grenade here, with the sapper. Yeah, I can do that. Can I double grenade this with a grenade launcher? I can get grenade launch this, though. That may be the best thing I've got. Really, it's just so bizarre that these angles don't seem to line up the way I expect them to. Hmm. Maybe I can get this guy down. Maybe. Zyther can probably drop out and uh, put some bombs on him, I think, from here. Because he'll have better better setup anyway. And this gives me high ground over Mammy. So let's actually put Zyther up here, see if he can't contribute. On my way. Getting a mechtoid kill would be pretty sweet. There we go, what do you got? 100%, yeah, okay. That's that's looking a lot better. So let me at least drop. You have 100%. Might even just be able to use weaponry on this guy and hit him down. All right, Zergen, go to town, buddy. I'm um, counting on you. If we can get the breaching ammo down here, then this mechtoid is done. And then the sectoids, the Let's thin manners, academic at this point. All right. Okay, so it looks like we need a little bit of hollow, but I think we can handle this without explosives, actually. Do we actually have a shot from this mech here? No, we do not. Okay. 
But I think let's get Hollow up with Mammy. And let's guarantee that shot. A little extra damage to push us over the edge here. 93, that works. And we'll get the hit and run available. Should we chance it with the alloy cannon? I think we should. I mean, what the hell, right? 66. Yeah, I've, I've hit much worse than that. There we go. As the DR is going to be substantial on a shotgun type weapon, but we're okay with that. Zergen. We got breaching ammo on Zergen. Six damage. So we can probably nail this down, I think. It's either. It's going to DR off, but we may be able to penetrate the shield. With 100% shot, Belchior has 100% here, so this is going to be easy. Let's give Zyther the kill here. He's he's definitely earned his, earned his keep this mission. I don't want to keep him away from a, a nice mechtoid prize. There we go. Had me worried there just for a minute, and then we're okay. Alright, you seen? Um, let's just... One for all in Overwatch. I have no idea what's about to happen. Besides, probably four sectoids and an angry thin man coming at me, and we have a lot of people in half cover. Uh, we should be okay, though. I think I think most of their offense is spent. All right, sectoid again. Don't care because we have grenades and explosives. Oh, feedback! Oh, feedback! One damage. Oh, can't you like feedback for like twenty? That'd be awesome. I mean, that's one of the, probably the first instance we've seen of feedback, actually. Side panic failed because sectoids. Okay, so it looks like we've got this more or less in the bag. Let me get Zergen rolling up here. Yeah, okay, we pretty much have that. That proxy beeping is going to drive me absolutely up the wall shortly, but it's okay. Hey, guys. Oh, we have vision on the last guy. Who's the last guy? Is that another sectoid? It is another sectoid. Okay. So Zergen can get a clean shot on this guy really easily. Unfortunately, we can't get a free shot on whatever's in there, so if we do run into a overwatch, we're gonna have to just kinda bite the bullet. It's a flank? It may be a flank on that guy, actually. Yeah, that's possible. Alright, let's 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 keep rolling here. They really are targeting my sniper something fierce. We could flamethrow these little guys, but they sell for money. And at this point, how close I am to scraping for credits, I'm actually okay with just trying to go after the normal type. Alright, uh, you have shots as well on just these two, but you are mind frayed. So that's not going to help you. We can remove mind fray with a little bit of Psy Inspire. Probably wouldn't hurt to do. Or we can just wait it out. I'll probably just Psy Inspire to get it off. Um, and Mammy has shots. 81 there and 69 there. Let's try and get that one, because Zergen definitely has the other one. No go. Zergen. I just don't want to make any major errors here, so I'm taking this nice and slow. Roger, tracking. This is close encounters. Free shot. And we get to duck back. We could go in after these guys also. Looks like the Thin Man decided not to join the party here. But, like I said, Zergen's a badass, but he already took a lot of damage. Let's pull him out. And just take it a little... A little at a time here. I want these Sectoids to need to come around on him. Um, what's the best way? Probably right by Mammy. They don't have AoE, so... And they were both sitting on Titan Armor. With shotguns, so even if we get Acid, it will be okay. I'm gonna take Escobar out a tick. Andando. And, oh, we actually still have a shot on this guy. 42. Let's I inspire this off real quick. So we have more sources of that also. There we go. No retreat, no surrender, indeed. Alrighty, let's keep moving. Um, explosives we could use. But I don't want to use that unless I have to, because we still have the outsiders to deal with. Though I could use this and make this a lot easier on everybody. Can we get... Really? Can we not get this? I gotta get closer. I actually have to get closer. From high ground, I thought I'd have that very, very easily. And you're a freaking engineer, man. You should be able to drop these bombs no problem. Well, let's just get closer and give him a cover for that position. I'm on my way. And we'll actually be able to do this pretty well. They're not gonna have vision on my mech. Well, that guy is, because he can step out, but that's alright. 
Calculated risk. Oh, we actually don't... That's so funny. This is my best intent. I actually don't have a full cover position for him. That's okay. Will do. I'll clutch this open with a grenade. Just a basic alien grenade. And then we'll have pretty good shots with Xyther and everything else, I think. So let's get this done. I really just want to break the cover, mostly. That's, that's my main goal. Go right there. Catch. No damage, but... Hey, what did we reveal? All four more sectors. So what? Where's the Thin Man, then? Oh, he's the one back here. Oh, the Thin Man's back there. Oh, ain't that you just peachy keen, you little bastard. Okay, so we have some shots on Zyla that we can use the lies pretty well here. 94 and 100. Let's do the easy kill on Zyther because I just need him to get experience. I need those distortion fields. Or abs fields, rather. All right, good. 14 crit. Mighty, mighty overkill on that, but it's all right. Might have just been a little too much. Plank Bob on that guy. You don't have covering fire, do you? No. Let's use that gun. Nice. Go. Stutter got stuttered. And we can set up a one for all. If I'd known that, I would have tried to get a... Yeah. We can proxy... Proxy here. It's probably not going to be useful against the outsiders. Since they're usually just going to be, I don't know, douchey. So why don't we set up the proxy there. We probably need the grenade against the outsiders, honestly. Proximity mine has been placed. We're in place. That's good. And Morris. Oh, you can. You, I don't think she actually has the range on this. Hold on. Nope, she doesn't have the range. Well, let's Overwatch. I guess if something comes up close. If he runs Hostiles into the thin man, it'll be amazing. No, he's just gonna sit there. Minimal exterior damage detected. Okay. So the sectoid panicked, I think. Oh, no, he didn't. It's a superficial oh, good. So we're still within armor damage range. So this is... We're okay. We're actually okay here. I want to set off that proxy in a big way. I think I'm going to need to use my last actual uh, alien grenade off our engineer to do so. So let me do that. So I don't want to use my big grenade on this. We could technically try and flush him out with a flamer. Yeah, probably not. Let's see. Let's go with the actual grenade to set this off. And again, we don't have the range on it, so that kind of blows. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to use Yasin as the big gun for the rest of this mission. Okay, let's go... Where? We may be able to get a good angle from here. On more than just the sectoid. You may be too far from here, honestly. Yeah, it's still too far. Let's just keep scooching up here, I think. It's still safe. So we started out and we didn't see any outsiders there, so that's okay. So Mammy, again, no. So we need to actually use, unfortunately, the last grenade to clear this up because the Thin Man has us pinned. And then we could probably do better work on it. So we're going to focus on killing the Thin Man. The Sectoid will just go down by attrition. May have been overkill, but there ain't no kill like overkill. So, um, wow. One on hit point, way. huh? I definitely want to get Zyther here and just set up a covering. Oh, did you almost fall off? If he glitched out and fell down, I probably would have said, you know, I'm going to call shenanigans and restart that. 29. All right, time to do some volume of fire. Never mind. Mammy was tired of his shit. Okay. Okay. So now it looks like I think we handled all the packs. We have just the outsiders left. Ready to oh, let's refit. And bring this one to a close. Oh man, what a mission this has been. Honestly, this has been an absolute brutalizer. It's the opposite of a paralyzer is an absolute brutalizer. Big Mac, Mr. Plank Bob, setting up, getting everything reloaded. Let's get the guns up. And now we got to figure out where the outsiders are, which is still ridiculously dangerous. But we're okay. Our mechs have done well. They're not dead, which is what I can say for Zyther. He took some injuries, though, so he's going to be out for a bit. Uh, Yasin, on the other hand, is still within armor tolerances. So that's good. So let's take a peek, shall we? Where's Mammy? Can we get... No, we don't have any more motion track, but it was necessary to blow all those, honestly. Oh, we didn't reload yet. <laughs> Whoopsie. 
But we're gonna start taking this step by step, and as we start taking oral cues, okay. we'll figure out where they are. Where they are, where they are. Downside about this, that we only have one source of explosives that should be able here. to break walls, and that's our um, proper Let's alien grenade this. on Marco Belcia. So, you know, that's not awesome, so we're gonna have to really put Where's him in a good place to get the outsiders down, but, you know, it's not the worst situation to be in. At least we're all alive, and we had to use every last explosive to keep, keep those guys off of us. The name of this Mutant Elites. My god, that was a brutal, brutal, brutal game we played with them for a bit, and the Ethereal. And I'm really, actually, really sad that my strategy of high grounding my Rocketeer did not pay dividends here. It actually was a terrible one. We nearly... We nearly lost it okay. because my angles were just that little bit off and we just couldn't get the clean clean kill we needed. But again, I'm glad I brought the backup med kit though. In case someone went down, we could have had the opportunity to revive. You can't actually revive the with uh, the restorative mist. That's the one downside. It's a little less healy than I would have liked. I thought restorative mist did six, not five. But it's okay, it's my first time rolling that, so maybe the next Guardian I make might go Savior, or maybe not, I mean, depending how how Zyther um, fills his role. Moving. Alright, good enough, we're gonna take this bit by bit, we have no oral cues yet, so we're gonna Cover take this nice and safe. Here. Uh, Belchia, yeah, let's not worry about this for now, let's start thinking of where they may be, and let's see if we can get an oral cue from this, and we shouldn't trigger anything here. And we may get an ear full of where they're at, because they could be pretty much anywhere. Um, my guess is they're probably, if we didn't pick them anywhere, they're probably here. That would be my bet if I were a betting man, but at this rate, I'm not betting on a damn thing. I'm just making sure we keep people alive. The last thing you want to do is just suddenly have to absorb lots of damage from ethereal, I'm mean, ethereals, outsiders. I mean, God location. forbid there's an ethereal in the navigator pod. That would just be absolutely the worst situation I can imagine. Which has happened before, I think, on higher, higher difficulties. That totally has happened, yes, so... You know, not counting anything out. Not counting anything out. Morris, get over here. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, if we're not seeing anything, we can move into blue move, get Overwatch's set. Because, you know, there could also still be another pack. Who knows? Worst tricks have happened. Worst tricks have happened. Good. You are going to keep to cover, though, because we actually need you to unload a rocket if Copy case comes on. to that. If that covers a mech, so much the better. Alright, everyone just overwatch out. And let's listen. Okay, so they are over there. Alright, so Laba, we will look at um, probably next time. I just realized I'm running out of recording space. Guys, three missions in a row, which tends to destroy my external uh, recording device. So for now, I'll have to say adieu, but um, we'll be back. We'll clean up this mission, we'll go on another one. It's been a rough one, but like I said, I'm glad I shot this down because it would have been so much worse if we hadn't done so. Until such time, though, I've been Nurse. This has been XCOM Long War, and I'll see you all next time. Till then.